unit. Come along with me at this iconic unseen red cherry. After following the strict safety protocols and completing the mandatory sea survival training, Team Satsa TV is ready to fly to the offshore platform. This isn't the usual rush hour commute. Helicopter is waiting to transfer us from the shore to the rig in what promises to be an exhilarating and stimulating experience. On the horizon is the iconic Mumbai skyline. With its tall skyscrapers, panoramic views of the sea link and the Arabian Sea. Helicopters are on standby for quick medical evacuations to the shore if necessary. On board are the first aiders and medical personnel. Since offshore facilities are in the open seas hundreds of miles from the shore, a helicopter is usually the best way to get there, although there are crew vessels as well. Helicopters don't have to deal with waves and sea conditions, especially important when it comes to rough seas. Gas and oil form in the sea over millions of years from the remains of animals and plants that sink to the ocean floor. Buried with the soil and refuse flushed from the land, the remains get compressed into layers of sediment, several kilometers thick on the ocean floor. Aided by the Earth's pressure and temperature conditions, the bacteria convert the biomass into hydrocarbons in a long-drawn evolutionary process. The exercise of drilling oil and natural gas undersea is much more challenging than drilling on land. Extraction, transportation and environmental protection are all comparatively more difficult with offshore drilling than with traditional wells. In an attempt to make the process simpler, petroleum companies have developed offshore oil platforms to facilitate the extraction. After nearly a 50-minute flight, we were ready to land on once a Jacob drilling brick, Sagar Samrat that has been converted into a mobile offshore production unit by the ONGC. We received a warm welcome by the Sagar Samrat crew. Mobile offshore production units are production units that can be relocated from site to site. The state-of-the-art facility will handle up to 20,000 barrels per day of crude oil with a maximum export gas capacity of 2.36 million cubic meters a day and is expected to add 6,000 barrels a day of oil to ONGC's production in the coming days. Recently, offshore drilling has become more prevalent and widespread given the massive amounts of oil and other petroleum products that the world is consuming every day. To meet the ever-growing demand for fossil fuels, petroleum companies are being prompted to search for new reserves in ever more remote and unexplored locations. Oceans cover almost three-fourths of the Earth's surface. That's why a large amount of the oil and natural gas reserves around the globe are located beneath water. Once the offshore drilling platform is built, some method of extracting the oil and gas from beneath the ocean and moving it to the surface without losing or leaking it is developed. To drill without water flowing into the hole or having the entire oil surge 
up into the ocean. A subsea drilling template is used. Installation of deep water wells take up years of planning and preparations. After identifying potential reservoirs using seismic technology, a drill site is selected and an exploratory well is installed. The process of penetrating the seafloor and extracting oil and gas involves multiple steps, including the use of cement, drilling mud, and engineering techniques. Converting a mobile drilling unit into production installation can be a cost-effective approach to develop offshore fields. For a site-specific floating offshore installation, the classification requirements of the existing drilling unit need to be changed accordingly. The conversion design is based on the site-specific conditions that the unit is to be installed for the intended period of operation. The project to convert Jacob Rick Sagerson Dot into a mobile offshore production unit was awarded to a consortium on 17th of November 2011. After several hurdles like legal challenges and COVID-19, the mobile offshore production unit was transported to India on a heavy lift vessel. After the statutory clearances, it was successfully installed close to the Western Offshore or WO16 wellhead platform on April 16, 2022. It is hard to imagine what living and working in the middle of the sea on a floating city. Offshore, everyone works 12-hour shifts every day. At in the pre-shift meetings and the handover time, most people are working at least 13 hours a day. A drilling rig is a community. Every person on the rig looks out for their colleagues who are easily their closest friends.
Discovering India's most prolific oil field, Bombay High, in 1974, Sagar Samrat put India on the global oil map. ONGC initiated offshore exploration in the form of an experimental seismic survey in 1962 in the Gulf of Cambay and later in Western offshore areas. Detailed seismic surveys in Western offshore resulted in a discovery of a large structure on Bombay offshore in 1972-73. The drilling that followed led to India's biggest commercial discovery, Bombay High. Commissioned in 1973, Sagar Samrat was built at the Mishibishi Yard in Japan and set sail from Hiroshima on April 3, 1973. Sagar Samrat drilled ONGC's first offshore well in 1974 in the Mumbai offshore region of the Arabian Sea that was then called the Bombay High. From a seismic exploration vessel while mapping the Gulf of Cambay between 1964 and 1967. The discovery of the Mumbai High field and subsequent discoveries of other oil and gas fields in the Western Offshore area transformed in the oil industry in India. The oil and gas sector is among the eight core industries in India. It plays a major role in influencing the decision-making for all other important sections of the economy. India's economic growth is closely related to its energy demand. Which means the need for oil and gas will increase, thereby making the sector an attractive field for investment. As of 2021, India continued to occupy its spot as the third largest consumer of oil in the world. Since inception in the 1970s, Sagar Samrat has been shaping India's oil fortunes. By not only putting the nation on the global oil map, but also drilling more than 125 wells. With its unparalleled use in investigation and scientific drills in hydrocarbon exploration, Sagar Samrat is a fine testament to India's vision and determination to be self-reliant in producing its own oil. We are back to the Mumbai shore after one of the most iconic coverages. Well, viewers, that's all I could pack for you in this edition. Thanks for watching and stay tuned to Sunset TV with counterperson Genetic Balkan. I'm Kruti Mishra, signing off from Mumbai.